So I met this gentleman down here. Your name, sir? My name is William Dort. William, man. Now, William, how old are you? I'm 39 years old. 39 years old. And where are you from? I'm from here, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, now I take these videos and I, I upload them to YouTube. Are you okay with that? Yes, sir. Now, you mentioned to me when you came up that you're new down here. Does that mean you're new homeless or moved to Detroit? Or what do you mean by that? I'm new in the streets. I've been homeless for about seven months. And what caused that? Uh, well, I've been, I've been uh, taking care of my mom for the longest. And and there's been family problems and stuff, art, uh, fighting and stuff. So I couldn't put up with it. And, and, and I felt a uh, sense of loss. And so I've been in, in the streets for for about seven months. And, seven months. And this, I, this, it makes me feel, it makes me feel different out here. It makes me feel away. away makes from, you feel how? It makes me feel away from all the. Uh, oh, okay. So you're, you're probably a little lonely. Yes, I am a little lonely. And uh, any substance abuse problems? Uh, sometimes I mess with crack cocaine. What do you take? When you when you use when you have a problem you consider what what is it your vice what do you do what do I do alcohol or drugs I drink sometimes and drink yes sir okay and no drugs uh once in a while I I, I mess do drugs what do you do crack cocaine crack cocaine okay and that's just once in a while yes so in your opinion then you wouldn't consider it addicting no you're, you're able to be a recreational user I'm able to sustain uh, control. Okay, and when's the first time you tried crack cocaine? Uh, it was about three months ago. Okay, and uh, I'm assuming you liked it? Uh, yes, I liked it. it was... Okay, is it a discipline for you to try to stay away from it, or is it just a financial interest and you can't afford it? It's, uh, it would be a discipline for me to stay away from it, yeah. because it helps me, uh, it helps my problems, it, 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 it takes my problems away from me. Yeah, and for how long? Oh, uh, not not too long. Maybe three, four hours at the at the longest. Okay. So it, it makes you feel good for a little while. Yes. Yeah, that's what a lot of people don't understand about drug addiction. When you have, you know, problems like you've had lately, it's kind of like a respite, a res an escape of feeling like shit. So that's why you do it, that's even true. though you know it's bad for you. I know. You know. Well, you seem like a pretty good guy, and uh, there's plenty of people that have tried it and done it that don't do it anymore. So, you know, hopefully you'll see better days. I certainly wish the best for you. What type jobs have you had in your life? I had uh, three jobs in my life. My first job, I worked at a uh, video warehouse, packing packing uh, stuff like that, packing videos and, okay. and, 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 and stuff. St different things like that okay my second job I was a I was a bus boy at the what Metro Airport in, in Romulus okay I washed dishwashers okay. my third job I worked at Myers and Taylor I was a buggy boy outside pushing buggies and, okay and that, I worked that job for about 10 years oh, okay have you uh, are you a high school graduate no I'm okay no. all right uh, ever been married never been married okay your favorite childhood memory my favorite childhood memory is when my mom and dad was together and we had Christmases. Okay. It was presents under the tree. All right. Favorite movie? Forrest Gump. Favorite book? Oh, uh, I, I can't say what, what favorite book I have. I couldn't say. Okay, all right. Well, you got any questions for me? Uh, yes. Uh, people say that you've been interviewing for a while and I don't know your name. Tom, Tom Reed. My name's William, nice to meet you. Yep, thank you, William, good. Well, you, you seem like a gentleman. I wish the best for you. All as I can say is I've uh, crossed paths with plenty of people in your predicament, and there's a way out of this, so just hang in there. And I appreciate you giving me this interview. Thank you. Thank you. All right.